Farm Garden Designs. Well, I hope you're all well. Um, just a few things I want to go over with you guys. Um, it's going to be a bit of a shame because obviously we're not going to we're not going to win the global prize. Um, I'll explain to you how that how I work that out, how I know. Um, I'll go through it with you guys in a bit. I just want to. A couple of people have said, "Can I, can they, uh, can I show you how?" Um, how I did this design, the lighthouse design. They love it and they, you know, they want to do it. I don't want to take it down um, because, like I said, it took me quite a long time to, to get the placements right. But what I can do is just show you how you do it and just take a few things away so you can see where, you, where you've got to put them. Now, the easiest way that I can explain to do it is you come to the furthest point of the beach, this area here. OK, now, if you start with a sago palm like I've got and you do these plants exactly as I've got right up to this conifer here. OK. And then what you do is the same going up this way. OK, so you've got a small leafy tree there. You've got a large conifer. You've got a golden tree. You've got a. A light green leafy tree and a dark green leafy tree on the edge. Now, once you've got that V at the front, you then add the wall. Now, because you put these trees and shrubs around the outside, you've got something to work to on the inside so you can see where everything has got to go. So the next thing that you add is the wall. Now, obviously, the wall will start level with this conifer. See, it finishes at the end of that conifer. So you come down to this sago palm, and when you get to this corner, you go up, up the right-hand side, one place. So you can see the wall there goes at one place. Now behind this conifer, let me just move this just for a second. Let me just move this, that, and that. Okay. So the wall, as you can see, has got a break. So we're working from this sago palm on the corner. You've got that one piece of wall, and then you've got a break. And then the other side of that tree, that tree, that light green leafy tree, goes in that, between the wall, in that break. Okay? And that gives you the cover on the side of the lighthouse, which is what you need. And then you add one two pieces of wall that side of the tree so you've got from the sago look you've got one piece of wall then the tree then two pieces of wall okay now what we've got again this side is obviously when we put these trees back okay so we put the conifer now back into there that covers that gap that you see. So it looks as though the wall continues. And then we put the little tree back in there, which just gives it a little bit of cover on the front. So that now is your wall finished around the outside. So now it's the same sort of thing with this fence. Now, as you can see, you start from this corner here and you do one panel that way. No more, because just there is another conifer. OK, so you've got one panel, two panels, and then you've got another conifer just behind there. OK, and that fills in, keeps it dark on that edge. So it looks as though that the fence carries on right the way through. So that's all you've got to do going that way to the right. To the left, you've got one, two, and it stops. And you've got a large conifer then at the end of that. Okay. So you go in that one that way. Sorry. One that way. And it stops. And one. Two that way. And it stops with a large conifer. Okay. So that is this frontal area done with the wall and the fence. Then what you do is behind this conifer here. Level with that conifer, you see, look, the white wall, there's the conifer, there's the white wall. 
you start that way you come down to the corner and you go up one one so it's the same as this you've gone one panel that way you've gone one piece of wall that way okay and that's your wall finish so you should have the front done with the wall the barriers and the wall on the inside and then in that v you stick this guy okay so now that's the front done now look into where you put this gold tree you've got the wall there's the wall there and at the very end of that wall you can see you've got the gold conifer okay or is that at the end of the i'm trying to think now there's the conifer the conifer is at the end of the fence yeah so that gold tree is at the end of that wall and that's put in okay just to the right of that gold tree right by the side of the uh lighthouse is a large conifer and that gives you that cover at the back okay and then next to the conifer you've got a dark green leafy tree that's the back finished on that side so again you've got the the wall finishes just there you put your gold conifer to the right of the gold conifer <laughs> of the gold tree you put your conifer and to the right of that conifer you put the dark green leafy tree that's the far side done okay you've got the wall that finishes there so inside that wall again look you see a dark green conifer and then the next one in line is a small acacia tree with the rock at the bottom that face into the right okay so again there's where your wall finishes nothing on the outside of that wall it's all in a line so there's the end of the wall next one to the wall is the dark green leafy tree and then you move in again to that tree there that is the whole surround of that lighthouse complete that's the best way i can explain it to you okay so as long as you've got that position in right take a screenshot and when you're doing it just keep going back to the screenshot and having a look and it should look identical to that <laughs> okay so now the rocks okay i'll move this conifer just for a minute and you can see where uh, next to that conifer which is that gap there you've got a, a a mossy rock a daffodil and a star rock go to the next line star rock star rock go to the next line mossy rock the mossy rock that goes at the end of the wall right in the middle of there is another mossy rock at the top of the uh, rocks is another mossy rock right at the back there is a star rock and right at the back there again in fact that is the yeah that's the mossy rock at the back so you can see the placement if you turn them the way that i got them you'll get that lovely that lovely sort of climbing effect the, the rocks are placed nicely <laughs> now obviously with those rocks like that without the conifer there they look pretty flat the rock so you just add that conifer and now those rocks look as though they go up into the air they look as though they're going up onto the lighthouse and that is how you do the lighthouse design so those uh, viewers that wanted to know how you make the uh, lighthouse design exactly like i've got it i hope that clears it up for you you start from the front right from this point like i said from the beginning with the sago palm and you layer it you do that side this side then the wall then the fence then the wall then the lighthouse and you add the trees and you should end up with a beautiful design like that where your lighthouse can sit overlooking the sea on your beach so there we are okay then so we are now going to move back to the global event okay so we will go on to there now 
let it all reset okay now obviously it's going fast at the moment till it resets because obviously when you come off of it it stops to where you are and then it catches up obviously you know in real time okay so when a global uh when a global event starts um you've got to take an average i take an average i'm not saying you've got to but this is what i do this is my theory after the first hour of the of the uh global event starting what you do is you take a reading after the first hour now the reading on this one after the first hour was between 2.5 million and 2.8 million so it's fluctuating it between 2.5 to 2.8 okay so if you um, work that out over 96 hours which is 96 hours is which the competition's running it will work out round about 254 million okay now it will fluctuate um i i don't know how it how it fluctuates uh in the way that it does because if you watch this counter now look at the fourth digit in okay look at the fourth digit from the right and it's three four five six seven eight nine 10 pretty consistent all the way through now my theory is this if you've got players when the when the when the uh the global event starts that dial theoretically if it's going by how many people are doing the task should be flying around it should be going really quick and then when those people have got their fishing spots, they've got to wait for them to, to heal and, and for ready to fish again. You're going to have less players. So therefore, that dial should slow down. Okay. If you watch that dial from day one, from the day that it starts, that dial does not change. As you can see, exactly the same rhythm all the way that all the way round so the last count that i did it was 2.2.6 million in an hour okay so let's work it out let's say we got 22 hours left we got 21 hours 7 minutes if this was kicking out 4 million an hour which is not it's nowhere near 4 million an hour if it was kicking out 4 million points an hour for 22 hours would be 80 million okay add 80 million onto the total that you can see in front of you there 80 million is 295 okay now bear in mind we're getting nowhere near 4 million an hour it's, it's, it's you know around about 2.6 an hour and that's what it's been sort of roughly from day one um again look at the counter it's exactly the same now if there was players not playing you know they 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 finished there they've got to where they want to get and they've stopped but that counter is still going the same which makes me believe that this is computer generated it, it doesn't matter how many people are, are, are doing tasks it is set to go at a certain pace and i believe that heyday or supercell already know whether you're going to make it or whether you're not it's already predetermined whether you're going to make it that is my prediction that is that's how i work it out i take the first three hours i do an average of three a three hour average so say it's two point 2.8 2.6 I take an average and that's the average I work on for the four days um, 
and I, I, I do keep an eye on it. And the last, I've got it written down here. Let's have a look. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This would be the eighth, the eighth global, and every global I've been bang on. In fact, I've got a friend that rings me and says, after the <laughs> after the first five hours, are we going to do the global? Are we are we going to make it? And I can tell them yes or no. That's how confident, you know, that my theory of working this out. And uh, it's been spot on for the last seven times. So this is this is the eighth, the eighth global. That, uh, you know, um, and like I said, I'll do another video in the morning at nine o'clock and we'll see exactly how many million we are. We've actually fell short. It's going to be somewhere, I would say, probably in the region of between 20 and 30 million short. Which is a shame because it's a lovely deco. But let me know what you think in the comments as to, as to my theory. But again, as I've been talking, as you can see, that counter has not fluctuated in any way at all. It's not speeded up. It's not slowed down. So how can that, that's how I look at it. How can that possibly be, you know, people doing tasks? How can it stay for so many hours in a row, days, days and days? at that same pace when you got you could have 10,000 players playing all at once and then those 10,000 players stop playing so it's naturally it's going to slow down but it doesn't it stays at the same pace um you know you could be watching it all day and like i said that is kicking out about 2.6 million per hour and if you work that out now you're you're looking at at about 78 million to add on to that 88 78 88 so it's about 93 that would be 93 at 4 million and it's not kicking out 4 million it's 2.6 so like i said it'd be, be, be a bit between 20 and 30 million short and i always work the globals out after the first three hours do a three hour average and that tells me whether we're going to complete the global or whether we're going to fail the global um so yeah that's my theory with the global. Definitely, definitely, as far as I'm concerned, that is computer generated. They probably know before the events even started whether we're going to whether we're going to complete it or whether we're going to fail. Um, but there it goes. Before your very eyes, you can still see it. I mean, it's clicking round in in longer than one second, just over a second per digit. It's unfortunate because that's a lovely deco I, you know that's why i've redone the rocks and you know on on that uh design because i had a lovely place for that seagull to go you know it, it would have it would have sat lovely you know right right in these rocks somewhere it would have been lovely but uh now the funny thing is if we get up tomorrow morning <laughs> if we get we get up tomorrow morning and we've completed it and Ernest delivers the parcel with our deco, then I'm going to look very, very stupid. I'm going <laughs> to, well, I'm stupid anyway, but you know what I mean. But no, I'm pretty confident. I've been right in the last seven globals. So I'm pretty, pretty sure that we are going to fin finish way short. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. It's only, you know, I'm not, I'm not slating, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just, I've got a theory. And it just makes me, makes me wonder, is it the amount of tasks that people are doing, or is this just a computer generated dial that goes around, uh, regardless of how many tasks are being done? Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, hit the subscribe, pass on the videos with all your friends. And like I said, good luck with the, uh, the lighthouse design and, uh, let me know where you get on. And uh, yeah, just a shame. But uh, there you go. It's, uh, it's just my prediction and my theory on how the globals work. So until the next video, take care of yourselves. Happy designing. And we will see you very soon. Cheerio.